Finally, the day we've been waiting for, gradient in our text will sort of. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into apps, go in the search bar and type, type gradient. Enter, and you'll see this little white one right here. We're going to go into here. And then what you can do is you can go into here and you're going to type what you want to say. I'm going to say, hello, people. Um, welcome, if I can spell it right, welcome. So now I have my text in there and you have fonts out the wazoo. Any kind of font, every kind of, this is just the age y'all. And I'm not gonna go through all of them cause you can see how that little scroll thing is. It is, ooh wee, it is, ooh. So let's do something super chunky while we're in here. Let's try this one right here. So what you want to do, don't click over here. Click on this arrow right here. So now I want this super. So now you can see it. So the other thing I can do is adjust my line height. I can do my alignment, how I want it aligned. Let's do it centered like that. And then let's space it out just a little teeny bit. Now for your gradient. So you have three points in your gradient. You can move your points around here here, here, here. And when you click on one, you can change the color. So I'll change that one to pink. Let's change this one to a white. And let's keep that one this color. And then you can also, you know, you can slide it, make it this one heavier. And, or if you just want something like on the edge, like for shading or something like that, you can do that. Or bring it all the way over and kind of make them even. You can sit there and play with these. So that makes that awesome. So now that we got that, I'm going to click down here. Now the other thing you can do, once you have your gradient in play, is you can go and make it on different angles. You can move your gradient around like so. You can smush it down. You can bring it up. You can move it any way you want to. So you got these ac this axis point that you can move around, which makes it kind of cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to my design. So now I got this cool gradient right here. The only problem I did, so now that I've clicked off of it, I'm good. Don't click back on it. If you want to make another gradient, click off. If you click back on here and then try and do any kind of editing on here, it's going to change this one. If you want to create a new one, click down here and then start playing with this one down here. So let's just play with this one that's already set in there for today. Let's go wide. Let's uh, super shady it. Let's make it shade and I want that down at the bottom. Let's do a little candle color here, a little bit more candle color-y. Let's go there and let's see what we got here. And then let's whoop, and let's change this to a lighter color over here. Let's do like a little bit of a purple. And then we'll go like that and we want that little on an angle or like this. So like, see, you can just play around with that thing all you want to. And then when you're done playing around, I would just go in here and start moving stuff around because it's fun. And then you can add that to the design and then you have that there. So, and that is the new type gradient app within Canva. Yay! So we have that. It's awesome. Um, thumbs up Canva, finally even though it would have been nice to have it within the own Canva app itself versus going to a third party app to get it, but we got it. And that's all that matters at the moment. Baby steps, y'all, we'll get there one day. So thank you guys for stopping by. I love you. I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.